おはようございます。おはようございます。ジグザグ黄色た都会の街並み、たたきの笑顔が見てるの。はい。何ですかはい、外人。はい、先生。はい、先生。はい、大丈夫。Okay, boys and girls, happy Friday. Are you ready to get to work? Okay, I'm going to walk you through your work today. Do you want easy work or baby work? Baby work? Hard work? How about medium work? Okay, medium work it is. Okay, so let me share my screen here and I'm going to show you what we're working on today. Let's see, here it is. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is a new warm up. Instead of doing the ABCs, we're going to write the sentence. Are you ready for this? The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Everybody see that? The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. You need to trace that. Now, why do I have you writing that sentence? Why that sentence? Does anybody see anything special about that sentence? What is special about that sentence? Oh, somebody said it. I heard you. Was, who was it? Delilah? Poppy? Micah? Was it Griffin? Okay, I heard somebody say the right answer. The right answer is because that sentence has every letter of the alphabet. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog has every letter of the alphabet. So that way we get to practice every letter. Okay? Now, what happens the second time? Oh, you need to fill in some words. The quick brown fox, so you need to write quick and brown and fox jumps. You need to write over.、Uh, you need to write lazy dog. And then look at the third time. You have to fill in different words. The quick, you have to write brown. Fox is written, jumps over. You need to write the, lazy's written, and then dog. Does everybody understand that warm up? Okay. Then the second one is your Japanese name, where your parents should have written your Japanese name right there, or maybe you can write it all by yourself now. So you need to write it that many times. Next, you have to do a Japanese number maze, where we're going to go one to ten in regular numbers. Then the words of numbers one to ten, and then Japanese numbers one to ten. And then maybe ichi ni san shi go, shichi hachi ju ku ju. Okay? And then after that, what do you think you have to do here? That's right, you have to cut out the sumo boxes and put them in the picture in the right order here, up here. So you know what I would do first? Start with the feet. And work your way up. Start with the feet at the bottom and work your way up from there. Okay? Next, and then you color it in when you're done. The next page, that's an easy one. You need to fill in the numbers. So here, this is a Japanese seven, so you need to write a seven right there. This is a Japanese five, so you need to write a five right there. Does everybody understand that? Fill in all those boxes. Here, we have to write. One, a, a regular number one, and then the word one.、And、look down at the bottom. All the words you need are down here at the bottom for you. Those are all the words you need. One to ten. Oh, and then we have some Sudoku to do. Okay, so you guys are going to figure out all these Sudoku puzzles all by yourself. And then we have some very difficult math. Is this getting easier for you? All the plus twos and minus twos. You need to be very careful if it's plus two or if it's minus two. Plus two or minus two. What do you notice different about these numbers? That's right, there's some missing. You need to trace all these numbers and fill in the missing ones. And here we have our shared reading assignment. There we have a shared reading assignment. And then that's it. Look at that. And then it's empty. 
and then you're done for the day. So is that going to be easy or hard? I think it's going to be easy. Okay, if you put your head down, concentrate, work, maybe put on some soothing Japanese music. I think this is going to be easy for you. Alrighty. Toku yubisasu. Itsuka wa futaki ne. Itaki ne no sa. Hai. Hai sensei. Sayonara. Oh. Uh...